Hi, my name's Alex and I'm from Swoosh English and I'm at the Student OET Preparation Day, the official OET Preparation Day here in London. And I'm delighted to be joined by Dr. Hitija. Nice to meet you. Me too. Yeah, so what was your, what was your impressions of the day uh, so far? I think it was very useful. Um, I, as we chat a little bit before uh, to be here, and uh, I have some mistakes, uh, so I have seen them. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca was good, that's uh, very good uh, about the uh, uh, meeting. Uh, it was helpful for me. Mm, okay. Did she, did Rebecca, so Rebecca's from the official OET organization. Did, wh what specific things did she help you with in reading, writing, listening, speaking that you didn't know before? Yeah, uh, especially in the reading part, uh, how to organize the timing and underlining some important issues, uh, vocabulary about. Mm. It was very useful for me. And uh, as from the writing, uh, I, I was very stressed about the counting the words, to say this, to say that. This type of this, it, it was very useful for me. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, is this is this a kind of this student preparation day? It's the first time OET have ever done it in London. Is it something that you'd recommend to other students? Yeah, especially. Yeah, mm -hmm. we talked with a friend. Is it the first time? Yeah, I said yeah. it's the first time. Yeah. It was very useful, I think. Yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, another country. It could be. Yeah. Maybe India. Absolutely. Maybe Turkey. I'm coming. Yeah, exactly. Why not? Well, I was just about to ask you actually. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background? So, like you said, you're from Turkey. Which city are you from? Yeah, yeah. And how long have you been a doctor? And and tell us about your OET journey. Yeah, uh, I'm a specialist. I'm pediatrician. Uh, it it uh, will be I think ten ten years. I'm pediatrician in Turkey. And uh, because of my husband's job, uh, we uh, decided to move uh, London. So I want to make my job in here. Mm. So I have to take registration from uh, OET, uh, GMC, sorry. Mm. So uh, in this process, I decided to take OET. Mm. And um, as we told before, I had four attempts with OET. And uh, after that, uh, after the, uh, some uh, not successful attempts, uh, I decided to take a sport, a support for OET. Okay. That's why I'm here. Okay. So for those four exams, so you, did you just do self-study that, you know, kind of YouTube, yeah. YouTube videos and yeah. materials? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because uh, in the first assembly, um, I prepared with my own. I want to, to try myself. And uh, I uh, failed in listening, but because I was not well uh, prepared for listening, mm. I said the next time I could make the listening. Okay. Then uh, self-prepare again, you are uh, something there. And uh, I uh, only studied listening. This time, in the second time, uh, I failed in writing right. then. Right. Uh, then I uh, studied writing, then I failed in reading. Right. <laughs> it was my third attempt. And in my uh, fourth attempt, there was so much stress. It is your fourth attempt. <laughs> you should be very successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then because of uh, anger, anxiety, anything, and I fell with writing and reading also. Right. Uh, that's, uh, so you really, you really had a roller coaster yeah. of, of emotions. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this all of them was uh, with my own. Yeah. And um, this is the issue that I, I, I was not taking support from uh, right uh, hand, hands. Mm. It was the thing, I think. Mm. Uh, but today I want to uh, come here and uh, to see someone that can help me. Mm. Uh, it was the uh, most important issue mm. for me. Can I just ask why, after failing even the first time, why did you continue to do self-study? Uh -huh. Because I was nearer, nearer uh, so results. Close, yeah. yeah, results with my own uh, study, and it was not enough. I, I think mm. I, I can improve myself with mm. myself. I thought, uh, but uh, my fourth uh, was it kind of like um, kind of like a monster that you think I'm so close. I'm going to slay the dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It was a challenge, a personal challenge for you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But the fact you've taken it four times, it's obviously a lot of money, isn't it? Very much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also money, out of time. Time. Yeah, I yeah. have children. I do not spend time with them. Yeah. I, I uh, mm. studied this. 
and uh, I, w I have to work with this yeah. uh, at the same time. Mm. So it was hard, yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're hard working mother, you're a pediatrician, you've got children, you're studying for this OET exam, you're like super mum. Yeah, yeah. Essentially. Thank you. <laughs> so, so sometimes... Sailor super mum. <laughs> no, no, no. But you, you, you know, there's a lot of um, amazing doctors and nurses out there and you know, dentists, etc. And they've got so many things on their plate. They're, they're juggling all of these things. And they think, wow, I'm, I'm an amazing mother, amazing father. I, I, you know, I've got 10 years, like you said, you've got 10 years work experience. And they think, well, I can, I can beat this examination yeah. all by myself. We have this behavior also. Yeah. Yeah, we, we are, uh... and, and would you, would you, what would you say to someone who's not taken the exam before? Like we spoke to Alma, Dr. Alma before, and she's not taken her exam yet. What would you say to other students um, with the fact that you've taken it four times? And even some students who will doggedly go for six exams, seven exams, all through self-study, what would your advice be to them? I think my first advice will be uh, to be assessed um, very goodly, very well, uh, first time. Uh, being assessed with the proper and accurate uh, mm -hmm. hands it should be. Uh, after assessment, when uh, you see your weak ways, you should uh, try with it. You should study with it. Mm. Uh, yeah, you should uh, not waste so much time mm. with um, so much uh, separating, I think. Mm. Okay, so how are you going to how are you going to prepare differently for your fifth exam compared to what you did in the past? And what, what advice did I give you outside as well? Yes. Um, right now, I didn't, firstly, I didn't attend uh, any uh, exam. I'm, um, I'm trying to have a good assessment, first of all. And uh, I will take this time as support. Mm. And uh, after this support, um, I will decide when they say, yes, you can... Uh, eligible for the test to take, yeah. I'm considering to take the test. Okay, so what what my advice would be for you in your situation, obviously you're working with Exclusion, we're going to help you to pass your examination and as I said before to you and Sakib and, and Dr. Alma, we're all going to meet together in London, we're going to celebrate your success when you've passed your examination, okay, you can bring your husband as well and we can celebrate as well together. So. The first thing that you need to do, and any students who are watching right now who have not taken an exam before, like Dr. Alma, or have um, or have taken it many times, whatever the situation might be, if you've not had any support from a premium preparation provider, because that's what we always recommend, whether it's Swoosh English, whether it's another good quality provider, and we would always say go with a premium preparation provider because they've been, you know, uh, they've been very uh, very well assessed by by Rebecca and, and all the OET teaching team. So. Go with one of those teachers and find out straight away what are your weak points. Because a lot of students who do free self-study or they go with low quality teaching, unfortunately there's a lot of out there, isn't there? And you need to find out what your issues are because when you take that OET exam, you get your scores at the end of it, but they don't say, uh, Dr. Hatija, you did this, this and this wrong. Uh, you've, you failed in your writing because of this, your grammar was not right, your section of case notes wasn't right. They don't tell you all these things. So you need to do uh, a placement test. Well, we have an exam readiness test here at Swish to identify where you're going wrong. And then you look at it, and we've had so many students like this before who've gone, ah, of course. And as we say in the UK, the penny dropped or they had an epiphany moment and they, ah, now I realize why I keep failing. Because you could do this exam 10 times and there are students who've done that before and guess what? They get pretty much the similar kinds of scores every time. And in your case, you failed writing one time, you failed reading and writing another time, and it just goes on and on like that. Yeah. So it's about finding out what your weak points are, and then you can have a study plan put together for you, and that's what we'll do for you at Swoosh. We'll put a study plan for you together and say, okay, you failed in this, this, and this last time. This is what we do with you day, uh, day in and day out, and you need to be doing that study every day. So if I was to honestly ask you, how much study are you doing on a weekly basis? How many days a week are you studying? What would you, what would your answer be? Um, I I don't know, but uh, minimum half an hour. Right? Every day. Should, yeah. No, you say should be. Are you doing that though? No, no right now, no. Okay. I don't. Why not? 
because I'm in, you know, uh, in a movement uh, process. So uh, we have mo uh, recently moved here. I'm uh, trying to settle down yeah. and uh, trying to find. But even though you're moving, every, even though you're moving at the moment, could you find 30 minutes every day? Yeah, yeah. it could be. It could be. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now that you're you're part of our program, we're going to be putting some big expectations on you to do it every day. Because as I said outside to you before, you have student A and student B. Student A does 10 hours of study on a Sunday, but nothing Monday to Saturday. But student B does 30 minutes or even an hour a day, seven days a week. Which student should you be, A or B? No, B, Why? I think. Why do you think? B, the 10, 10 hours. No, no. no, so uh, student B is... One hour a day. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I could be. I, I don't have ten hours because I yeah, have yeah, yeah. I, I have time. Uh, I should have time for my children also. Exactly, but but why would why would the student B approach be better for not just you for all students? Consistently, it, it goes away Correct. because yeah, consistency yeah. is very exactly. important. Exactly, and you you know as a you know as a medical professional, there's only so much information that you can take yeah. at one time, and you have to. I'm learning Spanish right now, and you have to. Uh, I just do 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes a day because I know that my brain can only take so much yeah. information. So you have to do it consistently. So we are going to effectively hold your hands behind your back and stop you from booking your next exam. Yeah. Okay. Why would, why would, you, why would you not be the best person to decide when you take your exam? Uh, because I um, took it uh, more than several times. Yeah, you know. So uh, this time, yes, I will do it this time, this time, and then no. I'm, uh, right now, I stopped yeah, exactly. and uh, wanted to have a guy. Yeah, well, the other, and yeah, you're absolutely right. And the other reason is you're a medical professional, not an English teacher, yeah. uh, or you're not, you're not, you're not a native uh, medical professional. For example, my, my sister, Claire, she's a, a nurse in, in uh, the northwest of England, but she's very lucky, of course. She doesn't need to do OET or any of the other examinations. Mm -hmm. So she's a native. Whereas you, you're not a native, you need that extra support. Yeah. And that's why we want to work with you every single day to pass in this exam. So for any students who've taken it, uh, you know, many times or, like I said, uh, never taken it before, what would, your, um, what would your advice be to make sure they don't keep taking it many, many times? Uh, as I said before, they should be assessed, yeah. uh, first of all. Uh, there are, uh, as I learned in here today, there are many premium providers. Yeah. Uh, they should take support, mm. I think. It's not uh, self study thing if your English is not very, very higher. Yeah. If it is, okay, make, maybe uh, with self uh, study it can mm. be. Mm. Hey, Tidja, lovely to meet you. Like I said, we're going to be supporting you through the whole process to pass in your exam. Great. And we will celebrate your success.